Welcome to Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. This is the newest cruise ship in the world and also the largest cruise ship in the world. We are gonna take you on a deck by deck full ship tour. We are starting right here on the Royal Promenade with the pearl behind us. This is where you're gonna enter the ship and this is the first thing you're gonna see. It's very spectacular and really makes an impact. Start your vacation. The pearl is on the Royal Promenade on deck five and there is a lot happening on this deck. Let's get started and show you everything. As you enter the ship right to the left of the pearl, you're gonna find guest services. There's some shops in this area and also the next cruise desk and the Crown and Anchor Society. Royal Caribbean ships always have a fun and lively pub on board and on Icon is the point and feather. The meeting place of every ship is in the lobby and of course we have a lobby bar. This is 1400 Lobby Bar. For all you coffee junkies, don't worry, there's a Starbucks here in the lobby as well. If you're hungry pretty much any time of day or night, you can always grab a slice here at Sorrento's and I can tell you the pizza has been pretty darn good. Deck five forward, we're starting to get into the nightlife of Icon. And here is a very fun venue. This is Spotlight Karaoke. They have different times for family karaoke, teen karaoke, and adult only karaoke. All the way forward on deck five and deck four is the Royal Theater. The signature show for Icon of the Seas is The Wizard of Oz, plus there are additional shows in here all throughout the week. Are you looking for the fitness center? Well, you go all the way down to the Royal Theater, hang a right, go outside, down the jogging trail, turn the corner, and there you're gonna find it. It is a very large fitness center. A lot of people can be in here working out at the same time. There's a good selection of cardio machines and weight machines. Coming down forward on deck four, we're gonna find the music hall. So this venue actually stretches two decks. It's decks four and deck three on the inside, and there is live music here in the evenings. Midship on deck four is Casino Royale. This is a nice size casino, lots of slots, plenty of table games, and of course there's a bar in the center. And this is the first I've ever seen. There is an escalator that will take you from the casino up to the Royal Promenade or down to the gangway. All the way aft on decks four and five is the main dining room. This is a beautiful, elegant main dining room and it is absolutely massive.
as you get to aft on deck six, it's gonna split in two directions. If you hang a left, you're gonna walk through some shops and then make it to the Playmakers Sports Bar. Playmakers is a great place to come if there's any sporting events happening during your cruise that you wanna watch. There's lots of screens and there's different sporting events shown throughout the day. Also, nice bar in here and there's an arcade. So you can bring the kids in here. They can play arcade games while you watch your sporting events. Walk through Playmakers and you're gonna to come to Absolute Zero. This is a second theater-ish type location and here you're gonna find the show Starburst Elemental Beauty. Tucked away in the entrance of Absolute Zero, hang a left and you're gonna find Social 020, which is the teen club, ages 13 to 17. Still deck six aft, if you hang a right, you're gonna go into Adventure Ocean. This is the kids club up until age 12. Also, there is a convenient entrance into Surfside, which is the family area and many families will be staying in there. So it makes it very convenient to get to the youth clubs. The Royal Promenade is not just Deck 5, it extends up to Deck 6, so we're going to show you everything that's up here on Deck 6, starting with the port side and then starboard. First up is Bolero's. This is a Royal Caribbean staple and is the Latin-themed bar. You'll also get live music here just about every night. The next venue you come to is unique to Icon of the Season. This is Pearl Cafe. It is a cafe that completely surrounds the amazing Pearl. This is a quick grab location where you can come and get food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, if you are one of those people who has to work a bit on your cruise, this is a great place to bring your laptop. There are plugs, lots of plugs, US plugs, European plugs, and USBs. Just past Pearl Cafe, there is areas to just hang out and overlook the promenade. Because there are lots of events that happen down on the promenade and you don't want to miss them, this is a great spot to grab before the parade or anything else that's going on and have a great viewing position. Coming forward on deck six, promenade, port side, you're gonna come to the attic. This is the comedy club. There's comedy shows here just about every night. Pro tip, be sure to book your spot as soon as you possibly can because it's not a very big venue and it will book up quickly. All the way forward on deck six is the Crown Lounge. And if you take a right, there's a secondary entrance into the fitness center. Now we are on the starboard side of the Upper Royal Promenade. And here you're gonna come to the Dueling Piano Bar. This is another venue that is unique to Icon. And of course, a dueling piano means there are two piano players. Lots of fun at night. Next up on deck six is Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar. This is one of the specialty dining venues on board. Schooner Bar is another Royal Caribbean favorite. This is a nautical themed bar and there's always live piano music here as well. Deck seven aft and all the way up. This is the Surfside area. This is a family area built just for Icon of the Seas. Everything in this section is meant for families. There's a splash pad for kids. You've got your own family friendly pool back here. The eateries are catered towards children and families. It's a pretty cool area. 
Surfside Eatery is a complimentary venue, which is basically a mini buffet for this area. So you don't have to get your kids up all the way to Windjammer. You can come right here and grab breakfast or a snack. All kids love an arcade, right? So this is the perfect place to locate the arcade on the ship. There are lots of activities back here for kids, including face painting and this carousel, and they're all included in the cost of the cruise. So the kids have a dry climbing play area and a water play area. Kids love ice cream, right? Well, so do adults. So this is the perfect place for the Sprinkles location. Surfside Bites is a kid-friendly grab-and-go eatery right here by the splash area and the pool. Here you're gonna find things like chicken nuggets, hot dogs, hamburgers, and pizza. Pier 7 is a brand new specialty dining location designed just for families located here in Surfside. The Lemon Post Bar was designed for families as well. Of course, mom and dad can get an alcoholic beverage here, and there are special non-alcoholic cocktails for the kiddos. And you gotta love this pool. Right on the back of the ship, amazing views, and it's very shallow for the little ones. Central Park area was first introduced on the Oasis class ships and it has carried over into Icon. This area is absolutely beautiful. There's live plants in here, actual live trees in here. You hear the sounds of nature and it's beautiful day and night. One venue that's new to Central Park is Lou's Jazz and Blues Club where you can come in the evenings and listen to fabulous live music. Also the menu on the bar here is a little different as it has a jazz twist to it. There are three different types of cabins in the Central Park area. There is the standard balcony, which everyone knows what a standard balcony is. You go outside and you have your balcony that overlooks Central Park. You have the infinite balcony, which means it's a picture window that will come down when you want it to and create that outdoor space. And you have interior views. So it's basically a window that overlooks into Central Park. There's wonderful seating all throughout Central Park, both inside the venues and outside. And there's live music every evening. Sometimes there's a guitar player playing outside in the park. And then of course you have the jazz and blues later in the evening. Park Cafe is a grab and go venue. You can have breakfast and lunch here and even late night snacks. There are two drink venues here in Central Park. First up is Trellis Bar and Bubbles, which is a champagne bar. Going forward into Central Park, you're gonna find some specialty dining locations. First up is Chops Grill. This is the signature steakhouse of Royal Caribbean. Also, Izumi, which is the Japanese hibachi and sushi restaurant. And new to Icon is Izumi in the Park, which is a grab and go portion of the Izumi restaurant. On deck eight near the forward elevators is the Empire Supper Club. This is another venue that is unique to Icon of the Seas. This is a very small, intimate venue. Only a certain amount of seats are done per night and there is only one sitting. This is gonna be similar to a chef's table on other ships. It has its own specific menu, its own specific drinks that come with it and live music in the evenings. It's pricey, it's about $200 a person, but from what I understand, it is an experience.
that concludes all of the lower decks on Icon of the Seas and we're about to head up. So now's the perfect time to talk about the elevators. There are two sets of elevators, one forward and one aft. We are at the forward elevators right now and you can see this is a massive area. There are 10 elevators and each of them are large. It says capacity 30 people so you kind of get an idea of how big they are. They're also smart elevators. You go to the screen, you tell it what floor you want to go to and it tells you which elevator to go to to take you to that floor. Deck 14 forward is the Vitality at Sea Spa. Also, you're gonna find the Vitality Cafe where you can get healthy drinks like smoothies and freshly squeezed juices. For the thermal suite, you have hot stone loungers, steam rooms, and saunas, and you can get a day pass for $59. All the way forward on deck 15 is the Aqua Dome. So this is an area that is unique to Icon of the Seas. Basically, they've taken two areas from the Oasis class ship and merged them together, the Solarium and the Aqua Theater. So now the Aqua Theater is indoors at the front of the ship, but still you have that peaceful seating area that you did in the Solarium. Do you love Royal Caribbean and want something fancy? Be sure and check out Bling. This is a unique shop on the ship. Like everything is super fancy up in here. You've got gold pendants and, and all this literally Bling jewelry that you can only find here. Very fitting for the Aquadome, the seafood restaurant called Hooked is also located here. It is a specialty dining venue. If you come all the way to the front of the Aquadome into the Overlook, this is where the solarium feel is. It's very peaceful up here, nice comfortable chairs. Of course it has its own bar and these amazing views from the front of the ship. One unique feature about Hooked is that there are outdoor tables, meaning outdoors into the Aquadome. So if you schedule your dining time right, when there's a show, you can sit out here at your table and watch the Aqua Theater show. On the port side of the Overlook, you're gonna find Rye and Bean. This is a coffee bar, but you can also get a cocktail here. Aquadome Market is one of my favorite new venues on the ship. This is a food court or food hall, and there's five different grab-and-go venues here. There is a crepery, ginger, which is Asian, Max, which is mac and cheese, self-explanatory, feta is Mediterranean, and toast and garden is sandwiches and salads. And there's plenty of dining, seating inside and outside for Aquadome Market. If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So right now, we are going into Chill Island. These are the exciting outdoor areas of Icon of the Sea. So first we're gonna see Chill Island, then we'll show you Thrill Island, and then the hideaway. On deck 15 in Chill Island, there is so much seating. There are tons of loungers, both in the sun and in the shade. Comfortable seating throughout, and places to sit and eat. Chill Island is midship on decks 15 and 16. We'll show you 15 first and then we'll take you upstairs. The Lime and Coconut is the signature island bar for Royal Caribbean and you'll find it on both sides of Chill Island. Royal Bay is the largest pool on any cruise ship and definitely the largest pool on Icon of the Seas. It also has two very nice sized hot tubs and tons of seating around it. From Chill Island, you can look down and have an awesome view in the Central Park as well. If you get hungry while in Chill Island, come over to El Loco Fresh. Here you can get tacos, burritos, quesadillas, and nachos poolside. And if you're thirsty, right next door is Cantina Fresca. On the port side of Chill Island on deck 15, you're gonna find two large whirlpools and the Cove Pool, which is a small, shallow infinity pool that looks off the side of the ship. Remember how I mentioned those loungers? There are so many loungers in the shade as well as the sun. So there are those of us who like the shade. And no cruise ship is complete without a buffet, right? So we're at the Windjammer Buffet. This is on deck 15 aft, and it is a very large buffet for a very large ship. It wraps all the way around both sides of the ship.
Island, we've come up to deck 16. So this is the true sun deck of Chill Island. Lots and lots of sun loungers and other seating up here. Plus there are the cabanas, so if you want to rent a cabana for the day, you can do that. And if you just don't want to take the stairs back down to deck 15, there's a slide. On deck 16, you're going to find the lime and coconut frozen bar where they have multiple drinks already frozen and ready to pour. And last but not least in Chill Island on deck 16 is the swim and tonic swim up bar. Now we're heading into Thrill Island. Here we're going to find six water slides, a flow rider, a sports court, and even a crazy thing called the Royal Edge. Category 6 Water Park has six water slides in two different towers. So the first tower you come to has three different slides. And it's Hurricane Hunter, Storm Surge, and Pressure Drop. Next to the slide entrance are cubby holes that you can put all of your belongings, your shoes, your shirts, your cameras, your phones, and everything that you own because nothing is allowed on those slides except your body. Each area of the ship has unique seating and I absolutely love these pod shaped loungers in Thrill Island. The second tower of water slides holds two storm chaser slides, which is a mat slide and frightening bolt, which is a drop slide. The flow rider is unique to Royal Caribbean and it is a surf simulator. You can start out on your knees or stay on your knees because that's the safest one. If you're really, really good at it or if you're feeling brave, try and stand up. Coming around to the port side in Thrill Island, you're gonna come to Lost Dunes, which is the miniature golf course. And then if you look right above it, you're gonna see the sports deck, which is an enclosed space for basketball, tennis, pickleball, soccer, just about any game you can imagine playing up there. And now we're in base camp. So if you're spending the day in Thrill Island, need something to eat, need something to drink, this is where you come. Some of the food items are at additional cost and some are included. And then of course you got a bar where you can get anything you need there. By the way, for all you soda drinkers that have a drink package with one of those freestyle cups, there are freestyle machines everywhere on this ship. Just about any eatery that you come to will have a freestyle machine, including right here at base camp. Just past base camp in Thrill Island, you're gonna come to Adrenaline Peak, which is a massive rock climbing wall. There are different levels of short, medium, and really high. And you will find the Crown Edge, which is this crazy contraption up here that lets you be harnessed in and fly outside of the ship. That's insane. And from Chill Island, you could overlook Central Park. Back here in Thrill Island, you overlook the Surfside area. And before you leave Thrill Island, you have to make a stop and desert it, which is a milkshake bar. Yum. You get to the hideaway, going to the very, very back of deck 16 and then taking the stairs down into 15. This is an adults only area, 18 and up. It's got two hot tubs, an infinity pool off the back of the ship, which is absolutely incredible. Of course, it's on bar and lots of seating down here. This is a very cool space for adults.
One area that's completely new to Icon of the Seas is the Grove. This is the suites only area. There's a pool, hot tub, special buffet outside, lots of loungers, only for suites guests, and the suites on the ship make about 10% of the cabins. That is a wrap for Icon of the Seas. We really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel because there are lots more videos to come from this amazing ship. And until next time, bye. Happy cruising.